if you have a custom Lego minifigure review from Mini Bigs, check my other Facebook, right appeal, or links will be down below. We got some new torsos along with a new minifigure and some other old stuff. Uh, we got a nice big Mini Bigs sticker. This one's actually pretty big, bigger than my palm. I don't know if I have this one, so I do like it. The artwork, of course, is done by Citizen Hoarder. Great guy. You can see it looks awesome. And then we also have a uh, Biggie sticker, which I have a few of these now, and they are, again, palm size. So. Uh, we'll get into the torsos first and then we'll show the mini figures even though they are pretty cool. So Mini Bigs does their own in-house printing now for um, I'm pretty, think pretty much everything now. So uh, he's been printing like crazy torsos and new figures. Uh, as of this video he does have Halloween releases coming out uh, October 16th which is Saturday of this week. So be ready for that along with some really cool mini figures. So right here we have a bunch of different torsos. Um, I guess we'll do the Run DMC ones first. So there's, I think I have a few. Oh, whoops, I just dropped them. Uh, I have black, pink, blue. I think I got... I think that was it for the Run DMC ones. So here those ones are. So you can see the Run DMC logo right there. Red line across the top and bottom. Run DMC going across. This one's on regular Lego blue. So you can use these for pretty much anything. You don't have to use them. You can use them for like if you want to use sig figs or create the Run DMC characters, or because um, I believe they're an '80s rap group if I'm remembering correctly, or as the uh, the purchase link. Um, or you can use them just for citizens in your town. That's what these uh, torsos are for. You don't have to use them for like certain things. You can just kind of create your own like sig figs or mini fig barfs and all that stuff. So that's what I feel like he's been trying to do with a lot of the releases. So. Some cool, fun torsos. So I got the three run DMC ones. Like I said, I got blue, pink, and black. This one does come with white hands, so that doesn't really matter. It's probably just what he has when he throws on. I do like the pink a lot. Uh, so there's nothing on the sides. These are mostly just front printing for these torsos. Oops. Let's get those ones lined up over here. Maybe. There we go. Uh, I think I only have one of these. So I do have... Oh, no, I have two. I have two of the ACDC shirts, which I believe are sold out, but I got dark green and black. So ACDC, of course, is the rock band. You can see ACDC with the lightning bolt logo right there in between. And then, of course, black and green, dark green. These ones are just regular yellow hands again. You can, of course, change that out to any color you want. But again, these are for just kind of creating fig barfs. You can, you can have some citizens going around town. You can recreate ACDC if you want to, or you can use it for your sick figs. And printing's really good. He does a great job with them. These are pad printed. He does have his own pad printer now. If you didn't know from his previous releases. I think he still might do stuff with uh, Citizen Brick. But I'm not sure. Uh, we do have a Comrade one. So Russian, of course, has got the hammer and sickle. It does say Comrade right there. This is all yellow. So, of course, this one's Russian. Uh, it could be a tattoo on this chest, and you can make a Lego figure with a tattoo, or you can change out the arms, hands, all that fun stuff. So we've got the Comrade one. Uh, we have a Dare shirt, so the uh, D-A-R-E, Dare. It's the um, the drug, drugs against something. I can't remember what uh, Dare stands for. A lot of people learned about it in elementary school, at least when I remember. Uh, it says to keep kids off drugs, of course. <laughs> a little awareness, Lego torso. Or you can give this guy some of the inappropriate Lego stuff that people make. Like a dime bag. <laughs> so we do have a dare torso. Again, nothing on the back of these. These are just all front printed torsos. Uh, that one actually looks really nice for the red printing for the pad. It come, it came out actually pretty pretty good. Focuses, there we go. And then the last three, Mini Bigs is located in Michigan, so he did make some Detroit uh, logo shirts. Um, it's the gun, and then it says Detroit. It has like a city line on the top. I don't know if these are actually like a um, a legit, not like a legit, but um, if this logo's like a real logo or he created himself, I don't actually know. I'd have to take a look. But you can see Detroit. Uh, it's got the, oh, smoking guns. That's why. It's not a city. It's a smoking gun. Uh, and it's all white print, so we can see I have it on blue, red, which actually I really like the red, dark blue, which I absolutely love, and the black one. 
This one, they all, they all came with yellow hands, the black one came with black hands. I think the other ones came with yellow. Last two. So again, some cool minifig torsos just kind of put on figures, throw them around the city. Get them lined up. There we go. So those are a, a lot of the new torsos. I believe the, um, of like the most recent batch was the Detroit Smoking Guns, Comrade, ACDC, and Run DMC. I think the Dare one, or the Dare one might be newer, one or the other. Uh, some of these... Uh, I've been up a while, some haven't, so I just had to get the ones that I didn't have. Now let's get to the minifigures. So he did release this one a little while ago, and this is David from Schitt's Creek, I believe. This is the misprint color. He originally had uh, him in black. He had a bunch of misprint colors, so I got dark brown because I couldn't get the original one. And here he is. So starting off at the face, he's got some beard stubble, a little bit of a like a weird mouth look, kind of like a lip up or smirking on the one side. Chin detail, I do like the eyes. He does have some thick eyebrows which will look good. And then the hair is uh, uh, like the suede kind of like sw uh, swooped over hair. Nothing on the back of the head. Coming on to the chest and torso, just like in the show he has that lightning bolt uh, shirt I believe. I think he wears a skirt with it too, I can't remember. Um, but you see the lightning bolts all coming down, so the little ones kind of remind me of the ACDC logo. They might be uh, pretty similar to that. And I think, yeah, they, I think they're very similar. They just seem a little more elongated. Uh, but you can see that top row right there, and then a, like a medium row and a large row all coming down the torso. Coming on to the waist and legs, nothing on the waist, nothing on the upper legs. We do have shoes printed on the front of the feet. You can see the uh, the curve, the line, and then the sole for the bottom of the shoes. Coming over this side of the body, we do have uh, no printing on the arms, hands, body, waist, or sides of the upper legs. We do have the shoe design printed right here. You can see where the laces go, the holes for the laces, curve of the shoe, and then the heel of the shoe, or the sole of the shoe. And then coming to the other side, same thing. Nothing on the side of the body, arms, hands, waist, or upper legs. But we do have the shoe design right here. So really, you could use these legs for anything you want. You don't have to use them just for this minifigure. Coming to the back, and we have the same printing on the front of the torso as the back. So we have those lightning bolts from small, medium, and large all the way down. And then nothing on the waist or back of the legs. So that's David from Schitt's Creek. Now the newest excited figure or exciting figure um, he made or remade was the Joker, the uh, Heath Ledger Joker, to be more specific. Uh, of course, we do have the Mini Bigs card right here, which I keep all my cards. Nothing, um, just the normal stuff on the back. Nothing else. You see MiniBigs.com. Of course, he does have his own website now. And then we do have a purple trench coat. Wow, that looks really blue on the camera. <laughs> Uh, this is purple, and then we have the figure himself, so he does come with some accessories, he comes with an extra pair of arms with yellow hands, of course I'm probably going to switch those to a flesh tone or light flesh, again these look a little blue but you can see the blue in the background, these are purple, these are meant so you take the arms off, put the jacket on, put these arms on. And then along he does come with one of the older brick arms rocket launchers. He does come with his hairpiece, which I think is custom painted or um, airbrushed maybe. You can see it. It was a brown piece and it's green of course for the Joker hair. And then we have the Joker minifig himself. So we do have his face with the cut smile in there. The very dark uh, outlining to his eyes. You can see his eyes very detailed in there and the brow or forehead. You got the lines going across. I do like the design with the face a lot, actually. It's very iconic to the movie. The, Of course, The Dark Knight, I think, right? The Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. I can't remember which one he was in. Uh, let's throw his hair on. Just because that gives him his full look. Looking beautiful there, Mr. Joker. And then coming down to his chest and torso, we do have his green iconic vest on. You can see it is a little buttoned up. We do have his tie with some green patches in there. It is brown. Nice little uh, gray dress shirt on underneath. A little bit of a cut in the vest. 
And then coming down to the waist and legs, nothing on the waist. These are purple as well. They are not blue or anything like that. They are purple. The camera just really brightens them up to that blue color. I don't know if I can... You can see this is blue. I don't have, I don't have anything else purple, but you can see. So it is, it is purple. Coming over the side, nothing on the side of the body, arms, waist, legs, or hands. Same as this side. And nothing on the back. So a pretty simple front figure. He does come with a lot of accessories, like I said. Uh, face design looks great. Torso print looks great. I will put on his jacket or trench coat. So you take off the arms. Grab the jacket. It doesn't look like it's one side. Or it's, it's not like a single side, so you can put it on either side. Easiest way to do this, it might be hard on camera, put the arm in first, whatever arm you want to put in, and then put the arm in the socket. If I can do that, like I said, it's a little harder on camera. So I'll put the how on however you want. <laughs> I kind of twisted it. There we go. So get it on how you want. Again, it's a little tricky like this, fold over on the back, fold it over all the way, and then you can see it aligns with that hole right there for the other arm. So put his arm on. And then what you want to do is, usually I think his, um, I think it's folded over, really. So just give it a little fold. You can see he'll stand there, throw his hair on. There you go, you got the Joker. Looking very cool. And I think he did a great job with this. Like I said, I think he recreated it and brought it back. So, super awesome. Great minifigures. Love the torsos, minibigs. Keep it up. I know you got some cool stuff coming out for Halloween. Can't wait. Super excited. Uh, if you want to check out my other videos, and click right up here or links will be down below. Be sure to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.